Hi guys, this is Willie, and today we're gonna be cooking on the sailboat at our friend's house or boat. Um, we are going to make burritos the way I make them, and what we need is two tomatoes, which I already cut, so you didn't want to have to watch me cut my hands. And we use a cup of sour cream. We use this for our dip or our sauce, and four cloves of garlic. We're gonna press those and use that for the sauce. And we need about a half a pound, a half a kilogram of ground beef. And we're gonna use, because we saved, minus 50% Tex-Mex taco mix. This works great. You can also use it for burritos. And then we also bought some pizza cheese, which we're gonna use to garnish the finished burrito. So what we're gonna do first is um, brown the beef. So we didn't use beef because it's too expensive, so we're using ground pork. It says beef on the package, but Let's say we so we add a little oil. And we're only going to use half the package, so we have something for tomorrow. And I usually just add salt, pepper. Try to keep the ground beef all the way apart. And our friends have this nice little salt shaker that takes forever to put salt in the pan. And I also like to add a little bit of fresh garlic to the ground meat. You can use powder if you don't have it, but the fresh one's better. Be sure to buy a good garlic press, because this one sucks. It doesn't work. So we're going to have to manage. So we've got our ground beef or ground pork fried and then you add this stuff, 100 milliliter water and this gives it the Mexican flavor and I forgot to mention you also need tortillas. Get the big ones because the small ones you won't be able to fold them. And so we mix this and then we have to let this cook 10 to 15 minutes. Just read the package. So our ground beef is done with the taco seasoning. We'll set this aside. So if you're afraid of fire, don't do this at home. But we're going to take the tortilla because mm -hmm. I like mine a little toasted. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit. I'm going to put it on here. Got to flip it a little bit. It gets hot, but at least it gets a little bit crunchier and it's hot. Usually if you have a little bit higher, you can set it on the top of your stove if you have a boat. Otherwise, the more room you have between your flame, the better it is. Because now we're cooking almost directly on the flame. We have to watch out that we don't burn the tortilla. And then once it starts getting these little bubbles, you know, now you have a hot tortilla. Then we take some meat. I like to use my special sauce, which you can find the ingredients to the sauce on the website. So we don't tell you everything in the videos. You can come visit us. And I take the minced tomatoes, I put them on top. And then to round it off, we add some cheese. And I like to use the salsa. Use hot, mild, whatever you like. So on top. Be sure not to put too much in here because if you have too many ingredients in your tortilla, you will not be able to wrap it. The trick is to wrap each side in. Each side. 
And then, it takes a little bit of practice. Voila! A perfect burrito. Bon appetit, guys.